Hi, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are being predicted for you at this particular point in time. Just want to remind you guys, it's going to be a general reading, um, but if you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. Okay, bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles. A strong theme of abundance, um, a strong theme of um, manifestation, um, you know, like your manifestations coming to fruition, abundance, the energy of abundance, um, a very creative energy, an energy of growth here. Okay, for a lot of you, I feel like there's definitely. You're surrounded by a lot of abundance, whether or not you're recognizing this. Um, and you're, I think right now you're being given a lot of opportunities. A lot of opportunities to begin something new or a lot of opportunities to even, you know, redo something. Okay, um, an opportunity for a second chance at something. And it's up to you whether you recognize these opportunities for what they are and uh, the potential that it could bring. There is a very strong um, energy of potential right now, whatever it is that you're working on, any projects or whatever, it is, you know, whatever you have going on career wise, work wise, side hobbies, any ideas, any business ideas that you're generating, um, any relationships that you're in, friendships, romantic, professional, there is potential, there is potential for growth, there's potential for abundance, there's potential for a very creative energy. Six of Cups energy, there is someone here who's going to be reaching out to you from the past. This could very much be an ex or it could be someone whom you've had a fling with or someone whom you've always had a connection with, but unfortunately you could never really, you know, get something going with them or you could never really establish the connection, you know, things got in the way. But this is just definitely someone who wants to reconnect, someone who has been thinking about you, someone who's been nostalgic for you. And this person is going to be reaching out with the hopes of reconnecting or, um, you know, reviving a connection or maybe even a friendship. It could be a, a friend whom you've had a falling out with or someone has fallen off your radar. It could be something that like it could be a company or a person that you worked for. Right. And this person reaches out because maybe they've started a new company or maybe they want you back on board. Um, but there's definitely some connection and some link between you and the past um, with whoever this is. And so it's an energy of maybe going back to someone or something that you once loved or that still very much is a part of you. I do think that you're going to have a decision to make when this person reaches out. You'll have a choice and the choice is is either to stay um, to stay in the energy space that you're in and just continue on with things as they are um, because maybe you're quite happy and you're quite content with the way things are unfolding or do you then decide to pursue whatever this could be whether it's a romantic connection whether it's a friendship whether it's a business opportunity or career opportunity of some sort you will have the decision so you'll find yourselves at a bit of a crossroads right having to decide between staying or leaving between um you know starting something new or continuing on with um, whatever it is you have going on so a very important choice to make i feel like whichever choice you make is going to end up being the right one because both choices have potential because there's such a strong underlying theme of opportunity and potential i feel like there's really opportunity in you staying and there's opportunity in you leaving there's an opportunity in you you know choosing or not choosing um so i feel like e either way um it doesn't feel like you can make the wrong decision because either path you go down right it will have something to offer you it will some it will be opportunistic 
in that it will have potential for growth and it will have potential for you to expand your energy so choose whichever one speaks to your heart right sometimes a choice doesn't have to make sense um sometimes logically it doesn't have to make any sense at all so as long as you feel deep down in your heart deep down in your gut so as long as you feel that is the right decision for you even if you can't necessarily explain it intuition is a very powerful and a very interesting thing it cannot be explained away so easily um, but sometimes your intuition is just able to tell it's just able to feel what's right for you and so feel your way through this right um, choose whatever feels best for you um, I also feel like some of you are going to be, because I feel like there's more money coming in or there's an opportunity for you to make more money. And some of you have been thinking about maybe um, expanding your business or expanding whatever it is that you're working on um, or maybe starting like a second income stream. And some of you are going to be making more money as a result of this because you have taken this. You kind of were playing or toying around with the idea of taking something and turning it, taking something that you enjoy and that you have fun with and turning it into a money-making ID. And boy, will you not regret it. It's definitely going to be, um, it's going to be a success and it's going to generate you income. At first, it may be a little bit slow to get started, but if you keep at it, I do think that this is something that is going to be very successful and it could very well become your like primary source of income further down the road. So if you think this is just a side hobby, this is just something you do to you know, generate a little bit of extra income on the side. It may start that way, but it will certainly take off. I definitely think it's going to be something successful and something very fruitful and abundant. So as long as you keep at it, so as long as you keep consistent. And I think the reason why it's going to turn out such a success, because it's something that you love doing. And when you love doing something, it doesn't feel like work. There's no resistance attached to it because it's just an energy of flow. Um, Three of Wands, there's definitely this energy of expanding and growing. This is also like travel or relocation for some of you. You might be moving. Um, maybe it's this choice or decision you're going to be making. Or maybe the person that you're hearing from is traveling right now. Or they're living at a distance from you. They may be traveling to see you. You may be traveling to see them. Um, yeah, relocating homes, relocating business um, companies. You might be you might make the spontaneous decision to just get up and travel somewhere maybe just for the weekend away or maybe on you know to the other side of the world big or small i definitely feel like it feels like an adventure um, but there is something here that you're working on that i feel like you're expanding it and i do think it has a lot to do with your career or your finances right so something that you're working on i feel like is growing and growing it's multiplying so there's an increase and there's money um, or clientele or like leads they're being generated and they're increasing so you're going to be seeing a lot of results over the next few weeks or months a lot of abundant results so keep at whatever it is that you're go that you're doing some of you are investing or have been thinking about investing um so you know whether day trade or crypto bitcoin whatever it is that you've been thinking about or real estate property right um and I think that's going to be in the long term. I think this is this is this is a long game that you're going to be playing. So make sure before you invest, make sure you invest in the research first. Make sure that you know you have a good idea of what you're getting yourself into and what you're doing. Because if you play the long game, then I definitely feel like there's potential for you to earn a lot of money. There's a potential for you to um, like reach quite an abundant energy with this but I think that again because you're playing the long game I think that there's a fair bit of research that needs to go into whatever it is that you've been planning even if it's like investing in a business idea right um I don't think this is something you can just wing it I definitely feel like it's something that will require energy and attention and uh, research but you do have you do have a lot of money coming in you do have whether it's opportunity to make money, whether it's a better paying job or whether it's uh, a windfall or inheritance of some sort um, or some sort of payout, there definitely feels like money is coming in and lots of it as well. Uh, I think it's been a bit slow. Maybe some of you have applied for a loan that's going to get approved. Maybe you had money being owed to you. Maybe, you know, you have been working a second job and only now is it starting to pay off. 
Um, but there's definitely something here that you've invested in that is paying off. It doesn't have to be financial though. It could be a relationship. You've been working on a relationship and you're finally going to see that, you know, it, things are paying off all the work that you've been putting in. Or if you've been working on yourself and you haven't seen results because there's been a plateau of some sort or results have been coming in really slowly, like trickling in, all of a sudden there's going to be this rush or this flood of results um, or this bunny come out, coming out of nowhere. I also feel like it's something to do with your energy. You're kind of, the way that I see it, Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles, you're having fun with whatever this is. You're not attaching too much resistance to this, right? And when you don't attach resistance to something, you go in with the mindset that, oh, this is going to be easy, or this is going to be a piece of cake, or I got this, this is fun, this is all fun and games. So you're kind of playing with it, like you're kind of just, you know, your energy is playing very well with whatever this is. Um, and in turn, the universe is seeing that, and I feel like the universe is rewarding you because you're walking the path of least resistance. There's no, there's nothing here to indicate that you're being resistant about anything in fact if anything i feel like your mindset is a very abundant month abundant mindset like you're attracting abundance because abundance is what you feel and abundance is what you've been thinking about and it's not just abundant uh, in finance i feel like it's uh, abundance in love and relationships and results and success and just different areas of your life because that is the expectation you are creating for yourself and when you expect for something to happen when the expectation there is there typically it happens you know provided you're expecting it provided you're putting in the work expecting something and just you know sitting around hoping for it to um, show up on your doorstep it's not necessarily how it works but if you put in the work um, and leave the expectation and the belief is there then I feel like results are bound to show up and so I feel like some of you have been working really hard on investing in yourself and investing in a talent or a skill or a business or an idea of some sort results are going to come if they haven't shown up just yet they will come just keep being patient keep doing what you're doing and keep being patient because once it starts to pay off you'll be glad that you didn't give up on whatever this is you'll be glad that you kept like kept um on it even if there were days when you felt like you just wanted to throw in the towel um, you definitely have a new beginning here being indicated for you, a new beginning in love, romance, a new beginning in friendship, but more, I feel like more so it feels like it's in the beginning in career or like your path's purpose, or your soul's purpose, um, or like a, a new beginning in whatever it is that you've been wanting to do, like something to do with a goal or a dream, something you've been trying to manifest and bring into fruition this is definitely um happening for you because i think for those that are going to see the results i feel like you've been putting in the work and you haven't given up if you haven't given up on whatever this is even though you wanted to at times results are definitely coming in and i feel like it's well deserved it's well deserved because i feel like you have definitely put in the work it hasn't been easy right it's not been easy um any decisions that you make especially decisions that involve an element of risk i feel like i'm being boldly favored right now i feel like you're kind of, you're lucky like your energy feels like it's lucky your energy feels like you're showing up at the right place at the right time connecting with the right people um your energy feels very abundant you know you're manifesting you're attracting and so you'll notice that you'll quickly aligning yourself with the right people in the right circumstances keep going because this is like a it's kind of like a high it's an energy where you're definitely attracting and increasing and you want to stay in this because there's definitely more of where that came from all right and these are your messages thanks guys for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by hitting the subscribe button guys if you haven't already bye for now